Hi, hello, and welcome everybody to this brand new video. I am Viv, I own a lot of books, and something I also own, and what we're gonna talk about today is my Kindle. I'm just gonna talk about the Kindle, okay? I have a Kindle. I've never had a different kind of e-reader. I know there's tons of other ones out there, but I'm gonna be specifically talking about the Kindle, what Kindle I have, how I use it. I'm also gonna give you a lot of like Kindle Unlimited recommendation and like a little intro into what Kindle Unlimited actually is. So let's just get into this Kindle. I'm gonna scooch over a little bit because I'm gonna insert some of the Kindle footage on the left. I got this one. This is the 11th generation Kindle Unlimited. I got it in sage green. Now the only way you could get this green color was if you got it in the 16 gigabytes. Technically I think you can do like a thousand books per eight gigabytes, which is a lot. Like I don't have that on there. It's not even kind of close. Like you have space on this thing and you don't need the 16 gigabytes. I just wanted it because I, I wanted the green, okay? I just, it's, I wanted it. I used to have a different one. I think I used to have a Kindle of the first generation and compared to that, this one is so much faster. Of course, you still have the little lagging when you open it up, when you turn it on, and you do all these things, but overall, I just love this thing. So when you turn on your Kindle, you have the option to go between the home and between your library. Now, in home, you can look for new books and you can purchase the books directly on your Kindle and they will just like be purchased over your Amazon account. It's it's really, really easy. In your library, you have all of the books and series stack up. So you have a stack for a certain series and then you can just sort through them. And you also have the little tag for Kindle Unlimited books, which is pretty handy if you ask me. Now, one thing, what actually is Kindle Unlimited? Kindle Unlimited is basically an online library. Now, you have, I think it's 20 books, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's 20 books that you can just like grab from Kindle Unlimited and then once you read them you can return them. Sort of actually like a library. You can only have a maximum of 20 books on your account. Once those 20 are like filled up, if you want to grab a new Kindle Unlimited book you have to return one of the old ones that you already had. Now this concept is pretty easy, pretty simple to understand. It works great. I don't personally feel like that's that I need more books that I have on there. You can download them all, you can just read them like general books. That's that. Now, looking at my personal Kindle, what books are on Kindle Unlimited? That depends where you are in the world. So depending on your region and depending on what kind of Amazon account your Kindle is on, the books you can read over Kindle Unlimited are different. So for example, I know that a lot of people have the Chestnut Spring series on Kindle Unlimited, but that's only on Kindle Unlimited US and I think UK. It's not on the German one, which is where I'm on because my address and my only address that I have is in Germany and you need an, a US address to have the US Amazon and the US Kindle Unlimited. So it works great for me. I still have a lot of incredible books on there and I just, I love them. So I think right now it's actually time to start talking about all of those Kindle Unlimited recommendations that I am going to give you right now. Most of these are romances. I genuinely only read romance books on my Kindle. That's what it's for. I think it's seen about three fantasy books in its lifetime and that's okay. I'm gonna structure them a little different. So we're gonna start with some dark romance recommendations that I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna put the covers here. We have some mafia romance. We have Forever After All and The Temporary Wife. These are both by the same author and I enjoyed them a lot. They were great. The Temporary Wife is part of a series and all of the books in the series are on Kindle Limited, but this one is just the one that I love the most out of all of them. We have the entire Twisted Fairy Tales, so by Emily McIntyre. We have Hooked and I'm not gonna name them all. I Honestly, I don't know them all. Another thing that's on here is the Brutal Birthright series. These are actually fun. This is also mafia romance. We just have so many morally great characters. I love it. I love them. It's, it's super fun. And now we are moving on to the holy grail of Kindle Unlimited. We're going to sports romances, which is one of my favorite things. I love a good sports romance. And please, please, if you have any recommendations, on any of these topics, anything that's on Kindle Unlimited, please put them down below. I would love to read them. Right now, first things first, 
Behind the Net. This one was an incredible ice hockey romance. I just, I loved it. It was, it was so great. Sticking with ice hockey romances, we have this one. I love this so much. This is Desire or Defense. It was so good. Sadly, the second book is not on there, but I already, like, I, I got it. I, I loved it. It was such a great ice hockey romance as well. And then we have the Windy City series that's on there as well. And except for the third book, that's not, is it? No, the third book wasn't on there. Or maybe I just pre-ordered it. I'm not sure. But we have the Windy City series, Mile High and The Right Move. These books are so great. We have literally everything I want in a, in a romance book is in there. And most of these books, like most of these Kindle Limited books, they're pretty, pretty spicy. So just be prepared for that. And then we also have the Beyond the Play series. Now Beyond the Play series are like college type romances. And we have three different brothers who each play a different sport. And we all again have like ice hockey, we have football, and I think we have baseball. I'm not so sure on the baseball part because I haven't read the third book yet, but I will. I will. I have it on my Kindle. It is here. Then, sticking with the college theme, we have the off-campus series that is completely on Kindle Unlimited, and you can just binge through that series. The books aren't as thick, so you can just, like, read the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth book of that series and be done with it, and it's incredible. <laughs> moving on from the sports romances, we are now moving to different, weirdly, romances that I actually very much enjoyed. We have these four books. The thing about these is that they're reverse harem books that I probably wouldn't buy or pick up when I saw them in a store. I enjoyed them so much. These were great. They were so great. <laughs> I love them. So if you're kind of thinking about like reading something a little different, this is it. And then as I said before, small town romance, one of my favorite things. The Chestnut Spring series, depending on where you are in the world, this might be with your subscription, this might not be. But overall, this is definitely worth reading and it's also worth picking up, even if you have to pay a little bit to just read them. It's great. And then next up we have the Queen's Cove books. These were all so very, very cozy, very, very vibey, open romances, small town again. Four brothers, I think it's four brothers again. and all these family dynamics and each of them has different tropes and I just mm, I love them. Right now I'm checking if I missed any books because I don't want to like hold things out on you. A lot of the Tessa Bailey books are also on there and right now I'm like trying to read the Season of Revenge books because the third book is a Halloween one. The best thing about this is you can just browse through them. And I feel like when you get a book on Kindle Unlimited, the, like, if you don't like it, if you don't enjoy the book, you can just return it and it doesn't feel like, it doesn't pain you because you did not spend money on that book technically. You spent money on the subscription and that's it. So the subscription, I think prices for the Kindle Unlimited subscription vary from where you live again. So for me, I think it's $12.99 per month. I am willing to pay that because that is essentially the price of one paperback. And with the amount of books that I read on Kindle Unlimited, it is definitely worth it. Now, you can always like pause your subscription and like end it, start it again. It works really, really well. And I just love this. Now going to my Kindle settings. How do I have my Kindle set up? How do I read? For this, we're just gonna go straight into one of the books. You know what? We're just gonna go into Butcher and Blackbird. This one surprisingly started off with the cover screen. You never have that. Like it never starts with the cover. It just never does. And then I personally have it set down here to show me the time that I have left in the book and it just like calculates how much time you have left. And then on the right I have my percentage. Now you can easily change this in the settings. You just tap on the little letters at the top and then you can change your like your theme. You can change your font. There is a specific font if you are dyslexic. Maybe this is an option for you. I personally prefer the Bookerly one. It's just like personal preference, I guess. Moving back, you can have it set to bold. You can set the size. I personally use size three. And then you can also do like the layout, the orientation. You can have it um, horizontal, vertical, whatever you want. You can also have here like in more, you can show what it says in your reading progress. You can not, not have anything up down there. You could have the amount of pages you have left. You can have your amount of minutes left in the chapter. 
anything basically. Anything you want, you can do. And then what I always do is I turn popular highlights off. I hate this. I hate having the popular highlights on because that way you can see what other people highlight a lot in books that you read and I feel like that's oftentimes a spoiler and I just focus way too much on these then and I just don't like it. It's I don't I don't want it. It's not my thing. And then for brightness, you go down here. I have it set on brightness level 5. I always have it set on brightness level 5. I don't like it brighter than that. Sometimes I turn it down even more. And then for warmth, I have the adapting schedule. So at nighttime it turns warmer and then in daytime it's cold again. So I just like that. I enjoy that. It makes it easier to read. So when and why do I use a Kindle? Because I have all of these books behind me. I have my Kindle in my bag at all times. Wherever I go, I bring my Kindle. I don't like bringing physical books because I feel like they get damaged while I travel and especially for traveling. Since I read so much, I just need to bring four to five books for a week of going away and this little handy dandy thing makes that possible. I'm gonna scooch back in the middle real quick. It's just really easy to bring a lot of books with you at all times. You can just put little stickers in like a case. I have a little pop socket. Wait a second, I'm gonna show you. So I have this little bumblebee and I love it so much. It's so cute. And I also have little stickers with quotes. I do not like to tape them or like actually stick them on the Kindle or on the case. I just, I have commitment issues even to stickers, so I don't do that. But I just love the looks of it and I love changing them. I've never changed them, but I would like to. I would like to keep my options open. Generally, this Kindle has... It's been so easy, especially for like reading at night when you have the windows open, when you're letting your room air out and you don't want any mosquitoes coming in. You just read on the Kindle and it's easy. You don't have to turn on any lights. You don't have to sit in bright spaces. It's also easy to like actually read on the go, read on the bus, read anywhere. Technically, the Kindle also has an audible function, so if you also have an audible subscription, you can connect your earphones, so you can just grab your AirPods and you can connect them to the Kindle and the Kindle can read you your audiobooks, which I think is so surreal. My old Kindle could not do that. It could only let me read books, but it's just so much fun and I've been loving this thing. This thing was definitely worth buying and I can only encourage you to get yourself a Kindle as well, even though you might still love physical copies, like I do. I also have an issue that when I really, really enjoy a Kindle book, I will still get it as a paperback. And I know that's not really what this is all about, but I still do that, and that's okay. Reading is your own hobby, it's your own thing that you do, it's your own thing that you enjoy, and that's just, you, you do you. You do whatever you want to do. And with that, I'm gonna go back to reading on my Kindle, probably. I'm gonna go back to reading some steamy romance, and I will see you for the next video that I make. Bye! I feel like I missed something as, when, when talking about the Kindle. This is my life. I bring this everywhere. Whoa! I just did something. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!